Our trip begins in the capital, Beijing. At sunrise every day, thousands of people gather in Tiananmen to watch the flag-raising ceremony. Take some time to stroll through the square and check out the monument to the people's heroes and Mao Zedong's mausoleum. Head into the Zhongguo Guojia Bo Wu Guan. It's free, and it's a great way to learn about Chinese history and culture. This massive museum has tons of interesting exhibits with thousands of artifacts on display. Journey from ancient China all the way up to the founding of the modern-day People's Republic. Just across the street, you can visit Gu Gong. This huge complex served as the imperial palace in the Ming and Qing dynasties. It's no longer forbidden, and you'll be joined by hordes of Chinese tourists fighting for a picture of some chair the emperor sat in. No visit to Beijing would be complete without a trip out to see the Changcheng. The entire wall stretches over 5,000 miles across China. Stick around for sunset, an experience not to be missed. After a few days in Beijing, it's time to brave the crowds again in the train station. The next stop on this trip is Luoyang. The highlight of any visit here is a trip to the Longmen Shiku. These caves provide one of the finest examples of Chinese Buddhist art, with tens of thousands of sculptures. Most of the caves date back to the Tang Dynasty, with many more from the Northern Way. It's no wonder UNESCO declared this site an outstanding manifestation of human artistic creativity. Speaking of Chinese Buddhism, you might as well visit the Bai Ma Si while you're here. Established in 68 AD, this is believed to be the first ever Buddhist temple in China. A nice new high-speed train will whisk you away to Xi'an in just under two hours. Start off your trip here with a bowl of Yang Rou Pao Mo. Walk it off with a stroll around the Chengqiang, where you can see this ancient capital from above. Of course, the main reason for a trip to Xi'an is to see the Bing Ma Yong. This amazing archaeological site contains thousands of statues that were buried with the Emperor Qin Shi Huang. Finish off the trip with a walk through the city's Muslim quarter, where you can do some shopping and find tons of tasty food. <laughs>